So, um, actually, uh, it's interesting you mentioned some of the words that, <laughs> that also are mentioned in this uh, uh, work as well. Uh, well. Um, a few days ago, there was uh, the film in uh, Dutch TV uh, about Leila Khalid. I don't know if some, some of you saw it. It's interesting uh, at some point, I mean, I don't watch a lot of TV, but uh, we were at some friend's house and then I sat and watched it, although it's in Dutch, but sometimes it's in Arabic. So the filmmaker, it, Laila Khaled, everybody's familiar with Laila Khaled? She's a Palestinian terrorist. Mm -hmm. And in the old fashioned way, uh, somebody who hijacked a few planes uh, in the 70s. And so uh, the, um, the filmmaker was asking her, so I'm, sh I'm not sure how do you feel like when people call you terrorist, how do you relate to, to the word terrorist? And she said, well, listen, you know, it depends who defines it and, uh, uh, and what uh, they want by that. You know, our enemy defines me as terrorist. It doesn't mean, you know, that I'm terrorist. And then the filmmaker was like, yeah, but you know, if you look in a dictionary, uh, <laughs> what would you uh, find for terrorists? And then you can see that there's a cut, if you remember, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then you see her speak further, but more agitated somehow. And then she says, well, they do not uh, uh, call our, like, you know, we are freedom fighters. And they do not call the people who torture prisoners in prison terrorists. So I find that, like, uh, really, an, uh, uh, I was upset with the film constantly. I don't think the film was well done, and the filmmaker is very annoying, because, especially the ending, so I just have to say it publicly <laughs> once, maybe. But yeah, that was a, a moment where I think it was an <coughs> interesting point to, um, it's also defined here, do not come, I shall not come, I have prepared for it. I have planned something else. So that's part of the definition of terrorist in, in the dictionary I edited together. Um, so the dictionary is called New Shorter Oxford English Dictionary uh, on Historical Principles. Um, it's uh, actually published in this uh, Rethinking Marxism first last year. So it's funny, it like uh, similar times. And um, yeah. It's funny, also inside the book you will see Oxdorf English Dictionary because of some uh, copyright issues and uh, that was the way uh, that uh, you know, we negotiated. I mean, I, I don't know, I think it was stupid that maybe that I agreed because to think like it's interesting in relation to words and copyright how Oxford like owns the word somehow. I mean, it's also a joke, it's a few pages uh, dictionary. Uh, the structure of it is based uh, like uh, every letter of the alphabet there, there is uh, one word that I define. Maybe I'll talk a little bit more how I defined it. So this is the preface and I think two words come out in the preface. One of them is uh, uh, these words are basically refugees. So they left the dictionary and uh, they are looking for a new home. They're looking for a new meaning, maybe, and in a new context. And, and so the refugees here was uh, rethinking Marxism. And the other word is the useful, because the, the, the whole thing is called uh, the useful version here, down if you see it. So I'll come back to that if I don't uh, remind me. If you want, also, you can interrupt me sometimes to ask me something. So the word refugees, this is uh, not the best photo, but at least it shows something. I found it uh, um, here somewhere in the computer. So uh, there was a, another uh, <laughs> there was another uh, another um, another project that I uh, did, which was a, also a, a dictionary project, like a few years ago. And it was called A Word Refugees. And, and, and in there, literally, you can see the cutouts uh, in, on the page. And these are all copies of the um, um, Oxford, uh, yeah, the Oxford English Dictionary. So it's A Word Refugees. And I, I took the two tasks, uh, the letter A uh, of the dictionary, and took certain words out. So what happens is this, that you have the words separated from their meaning. 
And so th this page, you can see how the word, like a um, anti, anti-self, anti-Semitic, anti-spasmatic, etc., etc., and all these words, like the meaning, is separate from the from the, the word. And so this uh, next dictionary is basically uh, an attempt to give these refugee words a, a new meaning. And um, so the question of useful is, is an important uh, one, and, and what it means is basically one, as I said, to give them a new meaning. Um, I, I was just thinking of like use value versus exchange value, how if we think uh, of uh, instead of commodities, what uh, Marx describes as use value and exchange value, if you think of words, the use value of words and the exchange value of words, what that would be, I'm not sure. <laughs> But uh, uh, for sure, uh, using these words uh, now will give them the new meaning, basically. I mean, even though, I mean, the dictionary is the biggest kind of fixation of meaning, and even though this takes the form of the dictionary, uh, the meaning and, and, uh, and the definition, it's more like a capture of a certain moment in time. If I do it today, I would do it probably differently. The choice of words would be different and the meaning would be different. I mean, I can see it already now because uh, that's different than, maybe that's different than the dictionary in classical. So the material object. Um, temptation of the alphabet to adopt a succession of the letters in order to link fragments. No more anguish of schema, no more rhetoric of development, no more twisted logic, no more dissertations. An idea per fragment, a fragment per idea. And as for the succession of these atoms, nothing but the age-old and irrational order of the English letters, which are themselves meaningless objects deprived of meaning. So how do I choose the words and, um, and what word um, I spoke about this? How do I choose the words? I'm not sure. I really forgot how do I choose the words, but uh, um, maybe it's random. It's uh, more... Um, I, I had like a lot of choices for certain words, and then one word will make it only to the dictionary. Maybe today it would have been enough, another word, but usually it's, it's uh, maybe a little bit charged or something like that, uh, words. Um, so what be... Bethlehem, we see it here. Maybe we can see some details of the um, word. I don't have any of the Arab. Uh, so Arab keep out. What is outside? Deny entry or access to shut out from a place. I'm sure if I lived in the Arab world, I would define it differently. But I mean, the word Arab has been uh, used in a certain way that you need now to define it in another way. <laughs> so. This is what um, what it is for now. And where did they all came from? I mean, how did you find the definitions? They're all from the Oxford English Dictionary, actually. Everything mm -hmm. there is uh, from the Oxford English Dictionary. No, it's fine to ask. Oh, <laughs> I was commenting on that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, basically by association instead of like uh, you have usually the, the etymological and going vertical into meaning in, in dictionaries maybe, but this is more a horizontal attempt of, of linking different things. Um, so it's a little bit like embroidery, the first dictionary and this one, but uh, the other one was manual embroidery and this one is really like looking up words that I link with the word Arab, finding the meaning and then looking up where and it can be marginal. Sometimes it's easy to see which word it was, and sometimes it's not, because it's uh, so. It's more like uh, mapping the the word out, finding it by uh, spreading it, more than uh, going further into uh, historical of the word itself. So sometimes it's more successful than others. So it turns out. And uh, B for Bethlehem. I come from Bethlehem, so <laughs> I define Bethlehem. And it was the, the year that I, I went uh, uh, there in 2003. There was a lot of curfews. And uh, so it could have been Palestine also, but uh, Palestine is so fragmented that uh, I define Palestine later. But they are related in a way. This is Bethlehem today, I mean, at the time, not today. It was like a lot of curfews and, and things like that. I did also a video 
uh, in relation to that. I mean, speaking about spreading out the, the, the thing, the, the meaning, but also in another way spreading out the meaning in, in, in the way that how can I use it also further. And so there is a few videos, some on my own, some in collaboration with uh, Rene or Rene and Peter. Uh, not a lot actually. Later, I'm not sure if I'm going to go on more with this. But we, I can show. Is it? Do you want to see some of the video maybe? <coughs> because instead of reading it, then we can see also the video. Maybe we can dim the lights also for the next. Maybe I'll show seven minutes or twenty minutes. I'm not sure. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Hence, an opinion generally expressed. B. A loud, importunate call, an appeal for mercy, help, etc. B, 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 Bab, Baba, Baba, Babble, Babble, Babe, Babble, Baboon, Babouche, Baby, Back, 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 Backsplash, Backstreet, Back Down, Backfire, Backfire, Background, Back Sheesh, Back Up, Backwards, Bad, Badder, Baddest, Badly, Bag, 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 Bait, 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 Baked, Baker, Baking, Baking, Baklava, Balance, balance, balancing, balcony, balcon, bowl, 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 ballistic, ballistics, ballot, ballot, ballyhoo, ballyhoo, ban, 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 banal, banality, banana, bandage, band aid, banded, bang, 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 banish, bank, 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 bankrupt. Baptist, baptize, Barbara, barbarian, barbarism, barbarity, barbarize, barbarous, barbecue, barbie doll, barrack, barrack, barricade, barricade, barrier, barring, base, 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 basement, basic, basta. <laughs> A body of people of a particular nationality or occupation in a city or country, especially if living more or less in isolation or in a special quarter, a segregated group, the district, quarter, etc., inhabited by such a group. A malignant tumor or growth of body tissue that tends to spread and may recur if removed the branch of knowledge that deals with human populations, especially the statistical analysis of births, deaths, migrations, disease, etc., as illustrating the conditions of life in communities. Trouble or harassed by aggression, encroachment, or other interference, drain completely of resources, 
destroy as if by the exclusion of air. I'll have the story killed and the journalist fired immediately. You hate them and wish they were dead. Speak rapidly and inarticulately. Chatter. Talk nonsense. Anything is possible to the man with a killing weapon. What annoyed him was their fanatic sense of righteousness, their absolute certainty that they alone had God's ear. Bodily suffering, strongly unpleasant feeling in the body, usually in a particular part, such as arises from illness, injury, or harmful physical contact. A single sensation of this nature, issued by a local authority for the pulling down of a building or buildings. In Arabic mythology, a desert demon preying on travelers, generally an evil spirit or demon supposed to rob graves and devour corpses, a person unnaturally interested in death. The bomb had demolished a group of houses. of Bethlehem is one of the longest. <laughs> so uh, maybe we can have a power. Thank you. Um, now B after B Bethlehem we have C capitalist. Capitalist or classmates. Well the I'm interested in the effect of someone's name on their meaning, actually, also. Uh, uh, dear Ella, it is 12.45 uh, in North uh, Southern Street here in Brooklyn. It rains and BBC is on. I know and I find it interesting that you say that you were interested in the fact that I was born in Bethlehem. And who else was born in Bethlehem? Where could I start? I feel odd being singled out as a Bethlehem born. How can I put myself in a certain context that makes sense or a context in which I can make sense and, and start to signify to gain some meaning? If I go back in years, I went to school and she went to school. And frankly, we all went to school together. Yes, all to the same school and some to another school. Very familiar to many cities similar to Bethlehem. She was more than 30 girls. In the past months, I've been writing their names over and over again. I'm not sure what this will be. Um, also asking other schoolmates that I'm still in contact with to write me the names uh, of the rest of the schoolmates. Um, I will read the names. Appearance in the order of memory. Mariam Kurdi, Najwa Murad, Ilona Hasboun, Shirin Azizi, Slava Tiwal. May Hasboun, Suha Qutum, Najwa Andoni, Katie Qarra, Serene Fabi. Mary Shio. Amal Shio, Anwar Hirmas, Abir Bandak, Nahla Amin, Maisun Saade, Rula Handal, Rani Azize, Nahid Handal, Haifa Jakaman, Luma Othman, Dali Alias, Hiyam Ahmed, Hala Al Khatib, Jacqueline Nasser, Maha Abu Hamoud, Samia Safar, Randa Sansur, Irene Anastas. Define, to define oneself, to define the others. Words or names, how to define. Date, April 25, 2003. Uh, the of and, and the to with architectural art date engages everyday issues language, my Palestine political practice question space. My art practice to date engages with issues of architectural and political space, language, the everyday and the question of Palestine. Define, divine. Associate, effect, use, use, to be able to use, mean, to be meant. If you know, see, understand what I mean. I mean circumspection, euphemism, shake, think, sense.
E, empty versus enemy. Enemy versus empty. When the shit hits the fan, many readers assume that an I is always the author. Herself, his self, myself, oneself, ourself, ourselves, their selves, thyself, yourself, any of various conflicting personalities conceived of as coexisting within a single person. I am not satisfied, uh, displeased, left with a feeling of dissatisfaction by the deficiency or inadequacy of something. I decide to make difficult and complicate the question into a diversified condition, form and structure. It's strange how the human mind swings back and forth from, from one extreme to another. Maybe I can drink some water. <laughs> language game, language specific, to promote particular ideas, a nation, a community, employed such a system, combining particular ways of communication using words written and spoken to the systematic dissemination of doctrine, rumor, and selected information. Are you following? Yeah, or are you sleeping? <laughs> a particular formula, foreign language, alien in character, dissimilar, inappropriate, strange, unfamiliar, not one's own, situated, outside, unusual, abnormal, peculiar, removed. A break in reading at the end of a sentence. Pause in suspense and pave the way. Fundamentalism, F. G, good. Uh, H, I, G, G was before. Uh, it's now here, good. New utopia, binary, assertion, action, new age, pleasure, socialism. My personal position is the following. It is necessary to examine in a detailed way the contemporary theory of evil, the ideology of human rights, the concept of democracy. It is necessary to show that nothing there leads in the direction of the real emancipation of humanity. It is necessary to reconstruct rights in everyday life as in politics of truth and of the good. Our ability to once again have real ideas and real projects depends on it. This is from Alain Badiou. He's uh, writing about good and evil. So the real question underlying the question of evil is the following. What is the good? All my philosophy strives to answer this question. For complex reasons, I give the good the name truth in, in the plural. A truth is a concrete process that starts by an upheaval, an encounter, a general revolt, a surprising new invention, and develops as fidelity to the novelty thus examined, thus experimented. I will skip, skip. The question of evil starts when one can say that what good one is talking about. Evil is always that which in a particular situation tends to weaken or destroy a subject. And the conception of evil is thus entirely dependent on the events from which a subject constitutes itself. Israel, I for Israel. It's an anagram, analyze, question mark, here, block, obstruct, deny, deprive, history, hope, puzzle, victimize, fraud, moral, history, ethical, intimidate, distort, quote, Israeli. Vicious circle, colonial, the men, hum. So I'm not reading the definitions since they are available. You can read them uh, later if you like. I'm just reading in association with it or in the background or something, how I developed it. J, Jew, K, no nothing, uh, K, okay, K, Cuba, hasten to battle, men of Bayamo, for the homeland looks proudly to you. You do not fear a glorious death, because to die for the country is to live. To live in chains is to live in dishonor and ignominy. Ignomini. Ignomini. Hear the clarion call, hasten brave ones to battle. This is a, the national anthem of Cuba. Uh, Rene and I did also a, a work called United We Stand, where we use these anthems. I was going to play one, but maybe not since I read it. Mm -hmm. it's just, uh, maybe later. L. L, 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 what did I have for L? 
Hmm, Link, maybe. I'm not sure. L is missing here. M making uh, N. I actually M, I have marks here. And I don't have a quote. Here's one with such a beautiful, delicate beard. <laughs> Two. Well, yeah, that's the definition of marks. Since this was made for rethinking Marxism, I thought it was <laughs> nice to, uh, to put Marx instead of Marxism. More interesting, maybe. Um, and news. I was going to play something. Well, maybe I will, will play because it's set up here. It's just a small audio piece that I did together with the friends when we did this exhibition in Berlin. Um, so like, mm -hmm. okay. it. It's five o'clock worldwide. <laughs> from UPR Word Service, this is the Word Today with Hannah Wright and Paul Wood, bringing you the news from around the world. <laughs> Thousands of words exiled from the A section of the Oxford English Dictionary, the OED. A chaotic atmosphere here today in the first 160 pages of the Oxford English Dictionary. It is the biggest crisis the dictionary has faced in decades. Millions of hours have leaked into the River Thames east of London from the burst of the Prime Meridian timeline, producing a huge disorientation that's slowly moving through the North Sea towards the borders of Holland and Germany. Also today, President Akis Akis, the head of the Institute for General Geography, prolongs his three-day visit to the Oxford English Dictionary due to the latest events in the A section of the OED. And the Times Only Max controversy. Who is responsible? But first, we'll have a full bulletin of the world news. UPR. Okay, just I thought it's. Uh... All section. Where are we with the letters and 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 the end of the news? Oh, oh, Orientalism, but uh, I don't have it here. Uh, P. Palestine, or H. Poem today. How old is she? What age is she? She is forty years old. It means she has just turned sixty at the age of twenty. Life begins at 40. Mm -hmm. A woman of 50 is a girl of 10, that is to say, a 30-year-old woman. In other words, she's four years older than me. I'm older than you are. Let's make it clear. She's younger than him, and you are 20 years younger than her, and she's exactly the same age as Jane. Same age as Jane. Jane's in her mid-40s. I mean, she's barely 12. You mean she's in her 60s? Yes, she's about 50 and she's still in her teens and she's getting on for 70. But her son's just 10. This makes them all the same age. <laughs> Q, question? Anybody have, has a question? <laughs> <laughs> Escape with the P. Q, I had a quote here. R and S. <coughs> We're almost how are we with time? Oh, too good. It's good? Okay. As security, lie, if segregation, intimidation, intoxication. As song. I don't know if I read this song because maybe it's not so good. <laughs> but uh, maybe I read it, it's not so good, but uh, the original is better. It's a translation, um, but I tried, I, I mean, some of the text, not all that I read, have a certain method of construction that. Uh, Sometimes it's successful, sometimes it's not. And many times using the, the Oxford English Dictionary. So with this one, I try to translate in a, in a literal way, taking one word, after, not, not bothering about meaning, just taking word, 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 and seeing what happens. And it's interesting. The song is, is a patriotic song. I mean, we did a project in Baltimore also called the Patriot Exhibition. And uh, one of the things I read was also part of the participation there. And we took also a dictionary form of letters and words, and S was for song, or somehow in conjunction. On the sunny side of sunset, up goes my little donkey, a hurry of hoofs in a village street, an act of faith in God's own country, the narration of his stories, the protector of thieves and messenger of gods, a devil dancer and his advocate. 
an angry young maid with an eternity ring, our ship, our vessel, our organization. The Holy Virgin is displaced. Glory P. Tent village in a city of refuge, a wolf whistle in a sheep camp. Leaderless leadership, our, our, our Arab street Arab child of shame. Great shame. What a shame. It's a shame. Mystery presence, pale, sweating, trembling, coming at a run. Age of reason, I wonder. That's your problem, the Arab problem, the lost tribes. Go into faction, faction front, faction front, faction song, cat, cat, catastrophe. His to his to his to map robbery, historic present twice told. Remove stones once and for all. So I think the person who wrote this originally wouldn't recognize it. Maybe it would. I don't know if it's fair to do this, but <laughs> it was interesting to try. T. A thank you letter. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very so much. Thanks a million a bunch. Thank you for being the kind of friend. How sweet, how dear, how thoughtful. How kind of you to remember. I am touched, I am surprised, I am stunned. Terrific. I am captivated, I am fascinated, I am flattered, I am grateful, I am pleased, I am thrilled. Superb. I am impressed, I am indebted, I am happy. I am very much obliged. I cannot thank you enough. I deeply, I certainly. To think, to include, perfect. I appreciated, I felt honored, I was pleased, I was grateful. Oh, did I read this? No, I was pleased, I was thrilled. <laughs> to support, to treat. Lovely, I love it. Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> Unless you have some questions. Maybe I do. <laughs> Um, I was hoping you could clarify um, a bit more um, as to which words you chose to deal with in, in this dictionary, as I'm quite interested in, in your urgency for for the project and, and your selection. Uh, well, we can see together what the words were. Um, it was A for Arab. I don't know, I think maybe words that I thought uh, have been coming and need, need to be uh, thought about more. And it's a way of like resistance maybe, not to leave it up to uh, the media and uh, the general uh, dictionary only, because maybe it's not enough the dictionary and the usage, because the, the new usage of, of the words is defining them in the new word. So maybe a few more years ago, it wouldn't be interesting to choose those words. But I think certain words have been used and used in a way that I, I do not agree with. So I need to give them another meaning. Or I think maybe, uh, I think that's mostly it. So you have Arab, uh, Israel, Jew, Palestine. And from, I think may, maybe from the position, whether in the US or, or as a Palestinian, I think, what was happening? Uh, yeah, I think maybe politically these are the both the positions where I hear words like, I mean, terrorists is, is one of the biggest examples. Because for me, well, Palestinian terrorist is not an insult, you know. I, I just think it's fine, you know, it was used this way. And if they say for a resistance fighter terrorist, then let him be a terrorist or let her be terrorist. But nowadays, it, it just something has happened that uh, it's been overused and uh, I thought, well, maybe we need to reclaim the word a little bit. But the, the selection and, and the sort of alternative definition <coughs> seems, in that sense, whimsical. Uh, so how, how do you reclaim something with such a indefinite selection or indefinite urgency. In yeah. sense. I mean, words in that sense, we can all agree, are, are can be quite powerful. And Whimsical is funny, that's mm -hmm. what you mean? Whimsical is like more well, cartoonish? It's more uh, without, uh, at random, perhaps. Yeah? At, at a whim, at a, with, uh, from a very subjective point of view, with, with feeling rather than <coughs> Rather than with what? <coughs> with feeling rather than with an idea of, uh, of an urgency of, to tackle a word. 
to, to, to redefine a word, to reclaim a word. It, to me, it just seems uh, I'm looking for I'm looking for the reason to do it, as opposed to how you've done it. To me, there's a discrepancy, and I'm just hoping that you could. Well, it seems uh, you say rather than urgency because you want to have a universal new meaning for it. No. No. I'm I'm interested in your universal meaning of it, which may or may not be temporary. That's I don't think it's universal, as I said. I think it really much depends. Let's say Bethlehem, former name of Oslo, capital of Norway. I think if you look at it, I don't know what you think. Why did I put former name of Oslo, capital of Norway? It's random, right? Yes. But for me, it's not random because uh, since like 14 years, it's like, let's say, the Oslo Agreement has been a very important part in the decay of the Palestinian situation in Palestine. And partly why, that's why Bethlehem, for example, is, is, uh, was under curfew. I mean, the Palestinian Authority didn't do a good job in, in, in doing anything at Oslo. So how did I get there? I think by association, it's also not so random. I, I don't say, hey, former name of Oslo. For me, Bethlehem, okay, it's a Christian city, let's say, yeah? If you go to the dictionary and look up Christiana, Christian, Christiana, I mean, it's, it's an area, I go there, and that's one of the meanings. It says former name of Oslo, capital of Norway. And so I, I did double. I mean, it's not so interesting to say Bethlehem is Christian. Everybody knows that. But to, to jump one, one way ahead of yourself in the association link, and the bell itself, the tongue of its ringing, I have to see the, the original word where, where I went to for it. But most of the time it's by association. Let's say to the curfew, what do you associate with curfew? Closure, uh, oppression, something like that. And it's hard to trace it, that's why it looks whimsical, but it is really constructed from that kind of meaning of, of what I feel now. Sometimes, and that's why, I mean, some, some of them, uh, maybe you're correct, but most of it is really uh, quite constructed from the meaning I, I see and I relate to, yeah? And sometimes it relates to a text as in uh, about you, the good. Because I was like, what was it, you know, the good thing? And then, and then I realized the good is in you also, and it's something, a surprise, something that was not, not seen before, something like that. Does anybody else have a question? Is there a question here in the There is. Shall I just uh, thank Ayman for now and invite you upstairs uh, for drinks and I hope to see you back in the next